Elon Musk is preparing to launch the most ambitious project in his life. It's not electric cars, not rockets, and not robots. It's brain operations. In simple terms, Elon plans to automate us. Imagine a person gaining computer-like capabilities. For instance, a chip is implanted in your brain, and you become as intelligent as ChatGPT, able to recount any Wikipedia article, store your thoughts in a repository, or transmit them to another person. Meet Neuralink a company planning to perform operations on the human brain and insert such devices. Their goal is to enable people to surpass the limits of biological capabilities. However, do human ambitions coexist with sound judgment? Is it really as fantastic as it appears in the dreams of this individual? And what pitfalls lie beneath our desire to be smarter than we truly are? Elon Musk consistently urges engineers to move away from animal testing and focus on human trials sooner. This is because he plans to implant 20,204 chips into the human brain by 2030. Initially, this technology could break barriers for people with disabilities. If the idea works, it could improve the lives of millions suffering from paralysis, strokes, as well as hearing and vision loss. The chip would read a person's brain activity and transmit this information to a device, such as a laptop, tablet, or prosthesis. This means paralyzed individuals could walk and nonverbal individuals could speak and so on. The primary goal is to translate human thoughts into a series of commands understandable by a computer. In the future, the plan is to advance the technology to the point where chip implantation becomes widespread and each of us has the opportunity to use virtual reality glasses solely through our own brain. This way, we will achieve a symbiosis between the human brain and artificial intelligence. This is the ultimate goal of today's leading businessman, to unlock human potential and go beyond our biological capabilities. However, while rockets and cars represent a serious responsibility, neural implants require perfection at a completely different level. It took Tesla many years to launch mass production of cars. The first three rockets of SpaceX exploded, and when it comes to brains, we have absolutely no room for error. So, in order to reduce the likelihood of force majeure events on humans, according to scientists' logic, the technology needs to be perfected through continuous experimentation on animals. This practice, to some extent, serves as a form of sacrificing animals on the altar of science, intensifying their pain in the hope of reducing it for humans. Reports in Wired, Reuters, and other publications extensively describe surgical complications, behavioral side effects, and prolonged suffering, especially in primates from Neuralink laboratories. According to the reports, some implanted monkeys scratched and pulled at their heads until they bled or behaved subdued or agonized until sedated. Recent Wired stories describing the death of monkeys as horrific were based on obtained public records and interviews with researchers. Neuralink assures that they have created ideal conditions for animal care, treating them well and doing everything to ensure the experimental subjects enjoy life. At the ranch specifically designed for scientific experiments, pigs wear small backpacks with batteries to support the charge of their implants. Many animals also have buttons they can press with their snouts to request food or exit their pens, adding to what seems like happy weeks of their lives. Nevertheless, they all remain part of a massive scientific experiment. Moreover, every detail is meticulously addressed within the company. Neuralink even manufactures its own semiconductors, an exceptionally rare step in the production of medical devices. The company customizes them specifically for its needs, with low power consumption and minimal heating. After all, few would want this device to overheat in someone's brain. They even have a reservoir the size of a refrigerator filled with synthetic brain fluid that heats, cools, and moves implants, simulating the wear and tear process. The top priority during the operation is to avoid any bleeding in the patient's brain. For this purpose, Neuralink has created its own robotic surgeon. It is a massive white machine standing seven feet tall. After a human surgeon makes an incision in the patient's skull, the robot delicately inserts wires with electrodes into the brain, referred to as threads by the company. The robot is equipped with cameras, sensors, and a tiny laser etched needle that it hooks onto a loop at the end of each thread. One by one, the needle pushes 64 threads with electrodes into the brain, carefully avoiding blood vessels. No human is allowed to do this, considering each thread has a thickness of 5 microns, or approximately 114 the diameter of human hair. To prevent tissue damage, the threads are designed to be thin, flexible, and strong, and are coated with a special polymer to avoid deterioration 
over years of use. Approximately a dozen Neuralink robots performed 155 such surgeries on sheep, pigs, and monkeys in 2021 and 294 operations the previous year. It is expected that preparation for surgical intervention and craniectomy for humans will take a few hours, with about 25 minutes dedicated to the actual implantation. For the past two years, we have been focused on creating a product ready to work with humans, says the company's CEO. He adds, it's time to help a real person, and I think very soon we will witness this process. Thousands of volunteers are already queuing up to gain new abilities. However, Musk's company is still searching for the perfect candidate, refining the technology, and simultaneously seeking all necessary approvals. Currently, Neuralink's batteries last for a few hours and can be wirelessly charged in a couple of hours using a special baseball cap. One of the researchers' goals is to achieve achieve a full day, after which clients can recharge their implant overnight using a charging pad embedded in a pillow. After testing the chips on volunteers, it will take several more years, and anyone willing will be able to implant such a thing for $10,500. Neuralink states that they plan to conduct 11 operations in 2024, 27 in 2025, and over 22,000 by 2030. They are already counting future profits, aiming to earn up to $100 million over the next five years. One can align with the theory that all this is being done to control people, read our thoughts, and have the ability to exert external influence. Concerns about technical malfunctions, the emergence of artificial intelligence beyond our control, and so forth can also be attributed to this. In short, the foundation for negative thoughts is substantial. The only thing that burdens me at the moment is that our desire for greater power in the future comes at the cost of thousands of animal lives and millions of dollars that could be beneficial here and now. And while I enjoy it, when something truly impressive emerges in the world, such somber facts push me to question. Is it really worth it?